Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of the great Sephardi Rabbanim and tonight it's going to be the Hilula of a very great Rabbi, once again, this time from Algeria actually, his name was Rabbi Yosef Genesia, very very famous Rabbi, came from a lot of great Yechus, a lot of great Rabbanim and even nowadays a lot of the descendants are very very great Rabbanim and great families, uh, very highly respected families, especially in Israel itself with many many uh, fantastic uh, connections and uh, fantastic Torah scholarship. So he was actually born back in the year 1879 in an area in Algeria called Constanson. Uh, Eight of ten was naturally he passed away, hence his uh, Hilula is tonight. That was back in the year 1962 on the 7th of July it was reported. He was naturally, I will relate it over, he was a great great uh, a translator within regards to with uh, with languages especially he was able to translate into many languages he was an Avbet Din he was and he was head of Talmud Torah and was a Rosh Hashiva also and was a prominent rabbi in the city in Algeria and would later on pass away in Israel he translated many many books into many different languages including books on Halakha the Mishnah Kula also the Nishmat Kol Chai this was another one of his colossal works Mishnah Torah from the Rambam he translated also, and uh, <clears throat> the Hilchot of Rav El Fassi, also of El Fass, also he translated, was an author of many, many historical war books to do with uh, Judea, and uh, wrote many, many different things, including the Ahavat Sion also, and uh, was able to translate these things, compiled many, many essays, hundreds and hundreds of them related to Torah also, and was able to uh, relate it into the Hebrew, which the people from Algeria would be able to uh, relate it over to. He had that uh, brilliance when it came to uh, writing with all, all these different books. He was an expert uh, a linguistic and writer and uh, was a mastermind with everything. He was also Rosh Shiva of the Shivat Etzachayim, also, which I believe was in Algeria, also a very prominent place of great Torah scholarship also. And he brought the city, the area of Constanson in uh, Algeria to a very high level of Torah also. It had, after the French Revolution, it had the starter to wean a bit, but he brought it back to a glory level at that stage in time, while he was uh, a prominent rabbi over there. The, one of the uh, main Jewish schools there, which, he, uh, which was in Algeria, was called the Kol Yisrael of Friends, let's just say in English. And he brought a lot of Judaic studies into the, the high school to the Torah uh, uh, Jewish education system over there. Also, another interesting thing, he was a translator, for example, of Armenian French dictionary. This is something else. So he was uh, very much a mastermind within regards to languages, as I had stated before, and translated different interpretations to the Torah also. So uh, he was able to relate over to the deepest mystics within regards to the precious Torah. And uh, as I stated before, many of his published works was in Hebrew language for Algerian Jews, which and he strengthened, we know, that uh, the entire Algerian Jewish community with regards to Torah knowledge uh, since the French had ruled the country, at, which happened at a later stage, I think in the early 1800s, if I'm not mistaken. He was a, uh, he supported, had the passion and were celebrated that there was a Zionistic state was formed in the year 19. 48, and he had close ties to many of the prominent Safadi Rabbonim in Israel at that point in time. One of the chief rabbis was Rabbi Uziel at the time, who he had a close relationship with, and also Yitzhak Ben Tzvi, also another prominent person that was in Israel. And at the end, he would uh, move to Israel in his last year of his life. He actually moved, made a, moved to, to the area called Dimona, and sadly passed away the same year as he had moved into the area of Dimona and was buried in the Dimona Cemetery. He, uh, his, his wife was Rabbanit Roz also, and he had many sons and daughters also, many of them great, they're all great people, uh, even prominent Rabbanim. In fact, uh, his son Rabbi Daniel Genesia became the rabbi in Const uh, Constantine, which was that his area, and then later would become a, a prominent rabbi also in Dimona at a later stage. That was his descendant, and many of the grandchildren, uh, I believe, became great in Torah and uh, Torah flourishing. He wrote 130 different Torah works also, as I stated before, including an explanation of the Haggadah Shel Pesach, a book on Kibbut Abe'em, honoring parents, the Derech Tzadikim, that was another book, and many, many different uh, Torah works, colossal Torah works also, and it is Yilula, today the 8th of Tammuz, 
over here. So if he had passed away in 1962, we're talking about it's uh, from this point here in 2023. It's 61 years, I believe, since uh, he had passed away. So very much recommend read about him. There's a lot of things in Hebrew within regards to the great rabbi. Maybe we like candles in memory of him. Maybe uh, we learn all this stuff. And uh, he was a great rabbi, one of the great rabbis of Algeria over the last 100 years. Chacham Yosef Genesia. Guys, have an awesome day. Please look over the previous videos of this phenomenal series of the great Sephardi Rabbonim. And may we try and emulate their ways and uh, learn about them more. And have a great day. Take care and bye.